The first Aquaman movie still remains the highest grossing and the highest profit-making DC movie ever made in the history of the franchise. And despite everything that is being said about the movie, I still believe Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will be successfully able to recreate the success of the first movie. As of right now, it is said to be the last movie within the original DC Extended Universe or the Snyderverse. After this movie, we are going to be introduced to a new DC Universe to be headed by James Gunn and it will kick off with Superman Legacy in 2025. But, Aquaman 2 could actually prove to be a huge roadblock to James Gunn's new universe. Before I tell you why that is the case, I would like to make a quick humble request to all of my friends to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It truly is the only motivation I need to keep making more such contents on your favorite comic book movies and shows. Okay, now coming back to the main topic, I know that if we are to go by the trend of the most recent DC movies especially the last two releases which includes Blue Beetle and The Flash movie, it gives us the impression that there is no way that Aquaman 2 can be anywhere as successful as the first movie. Even if it does actually perform well, from a logical standpoint, the maximum that we can expect this movie to make at the box office would be somewhere around $500 to $600 million at the very best. But if by any chance or by a stroke of miracle, it manages to come close or surpass the collections of the first Aquaman movie, then it could prove to have big consequences within the bigger DC cinematic multiverse so to speak. You need to remember, this is Hollywood. The first thing that really matters here is money. Everything else including the continuity of the universe comes later. If Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom makes over a billion dollars or even anything above 800 million dollars, there is no way they are not going to make a third Aquaman movie. It would be the biggest lost opportunity in the history of Hollywood if they do not make a third Aquaman movie if in case, the last two movies in the franchise manages to make over a billion dollars. And Aquaman was one of the most important if not the most important members of the Snyderverse. He had a big role to play in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Or in other words, we can safely say that Jason Momoa as Aquaman is one of the cornerstones of the Snyderverse. And few weeks ago, we learned that another important member of the Snyderverse is also getting another movie. I am talking about Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. In an interview to ComicBook.com, Gal Gadot revealed that a third Wonder Woman movie is in the works. Although, there was some confusion if the movie would take place within the DCEU or James Gunn's new universe. But, what is important is that, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom might not be the last movie within the DCEU after all. As I said, there is no way they are not going to make another Aquaman movie if in case Aquaman 2 becomes a massive blockbuster hit for Warner Brothers. So, let us analyze what really is going on within the bigger DC cinematic multiverse here. We are heading into a new universe to be led by James Gunn. It is popularly being called a full-on reboot with the new universe comprising of completely new actors portraying the roles of iconic DC characters. But if we carefully analyze the situation, the new universe has an Amanda Waller series as part of its first phase. This series will feature the same actor, Viola Davis who also played Amanda Waller in the Snyderverse as well. Let us not forget that we are also getting a Peacemaker Season 2. And John Cena's Peacemaker was officially a part of the DCEU as well. I think the last episode where we saw Peacemaker interact with the Justice League really made it clear that the show does in fact takes place within the DCEU. It is also heavily rumored that Zachary Levi's Shazam is also going to be part of the new universe. So, I do not know why the new universe is being called a reboot. And in case Aquaman 2 as well as Wonder Woman 3 turns out to be two of the biggest success in comic book movie history and on the other hand, Superman Legacy turns out to be a huge box office disaster, then there is a possibility that the DCEU could come back. In that case, Superman Legacy would be announced as an Elseworlds movie and Henry Cavill will return as Superman in the main universe. So far as the Batman Brave and the Bold movie goes, we still do not have an official cast revealed for the same. So there is still enough time for Ben Affleck to return and put on the cape and cowl once again. For some of you this really might seem very unlikely at the moment. But remember, this is Hollywood that we are talking about here. And money is the only thing that matters. And we already have so many different DC universe already running right now. We have Todd Phillips' Joker universe, Matt Reeves' The Batman universe and the DCEU. 
It does not matter at this point if we get an Elseworld Superman universe played by David Corinsweet while Henry Cavill can continue to play our Superman in the main timeline. So, that is all I have to say in this video. Please let me know your thoughts about this whole situation surrounding the Aquaman franchise and the future of the DCEU in the comments down below. And do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.